Hey there, Juggies, it's your old pal McJuggernugs here. Wait, 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 wait. What's up, people? Mr. Fowler here, bringing you a new video. So, I have not talked about my car. Um, I know some of you asked uh, a few days ago, I think, but uh, I never actually said what happened. So, beginning of this week, um, they gave me an estimate of of everything, even though they already did everything. They fixed it, and it wound up being um, some hose thing inside the cool, the whole cooling system because it overheated. Um, the hose, like like exploded, pretty much is 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 how you explain it. Um, and he also had to replace two belts that had to do with the cooling system or the engine or something like that. I don't, I don't really know. I don't know engine talk or car talk or anything under the, under the hood stuff. Um, hi. Um, but anyway, yeah, and it wound up cost, uh, taking seven hours of labor to do. So, it wound up being $740. And that would have been fine. But the problem is, I just bought this camera a couple days. I was going to say two days, but it was like uh, the day that I got this camera in the mail is when it happened. Which really sucked. Because this camera's not cheap. <laughs> it's even more expensive now on Amazon because the, de the the sale went away. But I got it on sale a little bit. Um, it was $150 off, luckily. Uh, but I was like, you know, I think I should be able to afford it and be okay and stuff. And then literally right then, as soon as I get it in the mail, my car breaks for $750. $40. Then I get the car back, um, but my stepdad said, you know, just keep using my car for the end of the day and then we'll we'll move the car to the front and then you can take it the next day. So by the end of the day, I go uh, to the car and I try to start it and it does not start, even though they were able to bring it there. Uh, I kept trying it, trying it, trying it. I kept trying to make sure it was in park and make sure the key was all the way in, all that stuff. Nothing. So then he, asked, he says to bring his car and we'll see if it's the battery and we'll try to jump start and all that. Then he bring his car in. So I pop the hood and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to try it one more time. And then it turned on. So that one confused me a little bit. But, uh, so then I drove it to the part, to the parking lot and all that, and we thought, you know, maybe it was just, you know, something, it just didn't recognize it was in park or whatever. Then the next day we get there and I go for the first delivery and nothing. Doesn't turn on again. This time it just did not turn back on. No, wait, 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 no, 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 I, I'm misremembering. No. I was to go to AutoZone and pick up some antifreeze for the cooling system just in case it ever overheats again I'll have some something to, to, to instantly cool it down as much as possible so I go to AutoZone buy the coolant get back to the car and then it wouldn't start and then it just stayed that way it just wouldn't start so then I was just stuck at AutoZone luckily it was before we opened so my stepdad was able to drive to me and pick me up and go back then we tell the mechanic guy, and he says, okay, I'll be right there and stuff. Then I had to drive back there because I need to give him the key. Luckily, all of this happened before we opened. Um, and it wound up being the car's starter, which already died last month. So luckily, it was still under warranty. They were able to force it to start with the with a metal bar in the hood somewhere I don't know where that is but they got it to start so that they could bring it to the shop and change now for another starter under warranty and then they were able to get it back to me within an hour 
before our first the first first delivery of the day and then it, it's been working since so that is really good that I did not have to pay even more money and it's good that it is now working again and hopefully it stays that way because um, I keep saying it every year and I have not been able to go yet and we've been here I don't remember if it's four or five years now but every year I've said it and so far I've not gone once Halloween horror nights I need to go and Mondays are usually my only day off they only have one Monday that they're open for Halloween Horror Nights and that's the day before Halloween but at the same time he wants to hire one or two more delivery people um, once school starts again in September so hopefully I'll be able to get a different day off just in case um, because if I couldn't make the 30th, because that'd be the only day, I'd be screwed for the whole year. Because, you know, sometimes you want to try to do it early, just in case you do happen to miss that day, you have backups for the whole month. Um, and you can just pick a different day instead if you, if you somehow miss it somehow. But, yeah, I really want to go there, and it's like, if you have the Coke coca-cola cans is like it cuts the price in half to like 50 or something like that but then you got to get the fast pass if you want to actually make each um, haunted house but what really sucks though is they do not allow you to film inside any of the haunted houses you can film everywhere else but just not inside the haunted houses which is the main thing that you want to film but if you want to film the scare zones and stuff outside you can still do that and those are still pretty good um, and the rest of the whatever you do that day. But, yeah. Uh, so, that's the car. Uh, it's here. I have it. Now. Well, it's not here. It's it's going to be back. Because I, I always bring it the day before. Uh, for my day off, I always bring it home. But every day that I work, I just come home with my stepdad. Since it's, it's smarter. Instead of paying twice the amount of gas and mileage and all that. Anyway, yeah. So I the car works, uh, and I am out seven hundred forty dollars. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.